When people ask me if I am an optimist about our future in this planet, I always say yes because of my mimicry. That was a major, major transformation for me. When I began to see nature as a library, rather than just as material that could be used just for satisfying human greed or just as a transactional thing uh, for human satisfaction. We are a part of nature, not apart from nature. From there, everything changed because once that you get into reconnection, you see things differently. So it really helped me to, to find this kind of universal communication language that could be interdisciplinary and that is related to biology. As we all know, with the way that society has been for a while, we as a people can sometimes forget that we too are a big part of nature. It really has shifted things for me from a place of helplessness and climate grief and loss. But now I feel like there's such potential and possibility if we just look around and truly experience the sense of belonging. And I think that's one of the parts of the secret sauce for biomimicry is that when you do this, it activates so many aspects of your being, of your interests. It was just an immediate homecoming for me. I just felt that this was absolutely a huge alignment of my passion and my purpose. And it really fostered a love of nature and um, it made me feel like I belonged even if certain elements of society and my education made me feel kind of alone. So now I look to nature for solutions all the time because I am so um, ingratiated by it. I actually feel an incredible amount of relief. I. I'm so glad not to have to pretend uh, that I have to have any of the answers, but rather that I can connect to nature, reconnect to what's really our birthright, our collective birthright, and learn from there. I honestly feel like the luckiest person in the world to get to do what I do. I'm so proud to be involved with biomimicry. Practicing biomimicry and introducing others to this incredible field has been life-changing for me. When we tune in to our curiosity and learn from the natural world, we become more connected with those around us and all of the organisms that we share this planet with. We can begin to relearn that no matter what barriers divide us or how disconnected we are from the world around us, we are all so intricately interconnected. Biomimicry has changed the way I see things because I never really took, I never really looked at nature in depth as I have in the past year. For me, biomimicry is more than a professional influence. It's something that has meant so much to my entire family. And as someone with a young family, my hope for the future of biomimicry is, is simply the, the hope for the future of humanity, uh, of innovation, of technology, of design, that we realize the answers that we seek are all around us. When I was introduced to biomimicry, I thought, wow, this is really great just to get kids in nature. That's the first step. Just get them outside. It's changed my teaching um, and it's changed their learning. Biomimicry has actually totally changed my life. Since I started learning about it, I got even more and more curious. But it's not just me who's getting more curious. It's also when I teach it to the students, they're also becoming more curious. The way that biomimicry has changed the way that I think it work is that it's provided another place for solutions, the common challenges that we're faced with. I am motivated to do the work we do every day because we are helping to shift our human species away from extractive industries and extractive practices. This is one of the most rewarding things in my life because my job, my career is centered around seeking genius ideas from the natural world, learning how to speak the language of nature. Biomimicry made me realize that we need to make life-centric designs. It's given me a new lens to look at things. We want to demonstrate, we want to show that biomimicry is a viable path for a regenerative world. There are many situations where people actually find the problem but they are not able to come up with a solution. You know where to live, that's out there. How can we design factories that function like a forest? Um, how can we create design cities that um, seamlessly fit into nature, not just aesthetically, but also functionally? I am filled with gratitude 
and hope because I know that there are thousands of us working across the globe to create more regenerative solutions. Being part of this magical community gives me happiness. What is really special to me is all the wonderful people I got to meet through doing biomimicry because it's such a diverse group that is really hardworking and hopeful trying to make this world a better place. This incredible community of so many different people from so many different places in the world are finding ways to make it practical and relevant. We can finally learn to come home to this planet, to fit in here at last and for good on this home that is ours, but not ours alone. So join us.